One of the activity we did, it was uh, called the big hug for the lover of Lovers Jerusalem. Of Jerusalem. We've had uh, different people from different faiths gather to pray together for the peace of Jerusalem at Jaffa Gate, at Zion Gate, at uh, Damascus Gate. Sheikh Bukhari and I led together, we led hands and we had everyone form a long line, a chain of hundreds of people to literally hug. We started with maybe 20 people and before we knew it, hundreds and hundreds of people, religious Jews, settlers, uh, simple Palestinian shopkeepers. Even people passing by, they saw the gathering, they stood up. And if you look at the film, you will see a soldier lady. She started dancing with us. That was so amazing because, you know, a soldier is supposed to be in uniform, not doing these kind of activities. But she couldn't help herself. She loved Jerusalem, and she had to share that feeling with us. Can I add also at the big hug of Jerusalem that took place on uh, June 21st, June 24th, 2008, all of us were holding hands together, leading about 800 Israelis and Palestinians in prayer for the peace of Jerusalem. And Rabbi Froman started to shout at the top of his lungs in Arabic, Allahu Akbar. I'm used many times also in this opportunity of the big hug of Jerusalem, but in many other opportunities that we say together in Arabic, Allahu Akbar, and then we say, Hashalom in May peace prevail. Vaina will never solve the problem. Vaina will never end the situation. If they think violence will solve this problem, we've been fighting for the last 60 years. Show me where violence can achieve peace. Only dialogue, only understanding, only respect, only seeing the other with your own eyes as a human being. That will achieve peace. That will solve the problem. From my experience, building deep, and lasting friendships, it helps to rebuild trust between our people, between the Israelis and the Palestinians. I hear a lot of people in the mainstream saying, we don't have to have love with the Palestinians. We just have to come to a pragmatic agreement, separate the two sides, give them what they want, we'll take what we want. But I believe that that is not enough, that also we really do have to have a deep love and a connection and a friendship. I like to give a message to the world. I think every religious leader and every supporter uh, for peace and every person in this world is an, is an obligation and demand on his shoulder to work for peace. Don't wait just for us to establish peace. Everybody should work for peace. Everybody should aim to help the peace process. Shalom, salam, hu, hu. Shalom, salam, hu, hu. Shalom, salam, hu, hu.